Hello guys, welcome back for more XCOM Enemy Within. Last episode, we got someone killed on the first goddamn mission. In this episode, we're going to continue on. Uh, I used the rest of my money to hire a couple soldiers that will arrive in a couple days. I renamed my only English female uh, soldier to my friend Beck. And uh, hopefully the uh, next couple of guy uh, soldiers that come in are people I can, you know, rename properly. Hopefully there's one from... Is this Poland? I'm pretty sure this is Poland, isn't it? Yes, it is. Unfortunately, it's a woman. Not to say that women aren't good. I want to rename one of these people after Marbizier. And Marbizier's a man, so I can't rename a Polish woman to Marbizier, although I could. I can't believe that. Oh, anyway... You can rename these metals and assign them a power. Uh, never panic or medkits restore more. I'm going to go with never panic because that would have been helpful last time. And what we're going to name this, what are we going to name the metal? Hmm. It's a metal that prevents people from panicking or zero cowardice. There we are. Zero cowardice. No one gets that metal yet. All right. We got everything taken care of. We have no money. We are getting no money. We can't even go to the situation room yet, so let's just... Oh, fantastic, a ready and abduction? A difficult one, too. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. So do I go for four engineers, money... I also have to try to juggle panic, so it's not the United States. I'm going to go with either Cairo for the money... I need engineers to make the satellite uplink, and then I'll need money for that, but... See, the worst part about this is, is that you need to balance the panic, because panic will rise in the country and continent that you don't go to. So if I do this, Mexico and Canada will have their panic go up, and the United States will have their panic go up a little bit more. If I go to the United Kingdom, likewise, it'll happen to Egypt as well. But I need the engineers, and I don't care if the mission's difficult. So let's just go ahead and clear these guys. Alright. We're going to bring our assault and our sniper. Our heavy is wounded. So we're going to bring them back. Now the only bad thing is I can't see their stats right away. 70 aim, 29 will. That's good. Alright. Now I can only bring one extra bit of equipment on them. Oh man, Beck had to have low aim. Very high will though, which means it's a very good chance that uh, she'll become psionic. You have 70 aim. Since Beck doesn't have great aim, I'm gonna have to have her explode a thing. Yeah, frag grenades are the only thing I have right now. I think it does uh, flat 3 damage actually. I'm going to give my assault a medkit. And I'm going to give my other rookie with better aim a medkit. There we go. I'm so used to fatigue being a thing as well. In Long War, you have a lot of soldiers who get fatigued. Alright. This map's not too bad, honestly. I love this cutscene. There we go. Central, this is Big Sky. Strike team is This map's out. relatively Roger easy. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. Alright, we're going to move our assault first. Moving out. Uh, it looks like the building is clear, and that's always good. Let's go ahead and move back. Now, hopefully I don't get Beck killed. Location if confirmed. Beck gets killed, she'll kill me. Alright, that's where... I should not have dashed, but at least now we know where these guys are. Heading out. All right, he can see one of them, but I'm gonna have him hunkered down because he's in half cover. Right, the chance of this of the sectoids coming around to flank us is pretty low, and I can't effectively use run and gun, but I will move my assault over here. 
Alright, one sectoid is mine merging into this one. If you can kill the mine merge... I'm trying to English here. If you can kill the sectoid that is mine merging with that one, uh, it'll automatically kill the other sectoid. I don't think this destroys cover. Oh, apparently it does. Go, go ahead, and Beck. Do some damage here. This isn't going to stop the Overwatch, but it will make it so this guy has no cover for Lexi. And Deadski is the... Yep, he's Deadski's. Guess I'll just overwatch with the sniper. Hunker down. And my sniper is taking a shot. Chances are this won't hit. Damn it. This is the time where I really wish I had the speed up function. Damn Canadian. Want to be kind to the alien. Really? You hit her through her being hunkered down? But when they're hunkered down, even in half cover, the alien's chance to hit is like 1%. I have the worst fucking luck. Will do. I'm sorry, Beck, you're gonna be hurt after this. Get blasted in the face. This is for hurting Beck. Alright, well. Go ahead and use that med kit now. Man up and get back out there. Beck, you're fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Alright, now I have no idea where the other aliens are, so I'm just gonna play it safe. And overwatch. He can't overwatch because he moved. Snipers can't fire and move in the same turn unless they have snapshot. So no idea where these guys are anymore. A lot of times there's a group in the alley. Already there. So let's get inside the building. My sniper being inside the building is not going to help much. Ten four. Orders confirmed. On the move. I guess there is no point in leaving him outside. So I guess I will move him. Ten four. Plus, if there's anyone just, you know, right outside these doors, it'll help. Alright, so it looks like they're in the building opposite us. There's also Meld in that direction. So, that's where they are. We're gonna reposition to that doorway, and then after we reposition, we will head inside. They won't fire at us when they trigger, so if they burst through the door, we're not going to be in a bad position here. I'm on it, Commander. So they're in that alleyway. Let's go ahead and just reload his gun. Yeah, it's still in the alleyway. What was that? Can we see them? Yep, there we are. Will you be able to hit them? 40% and 19%. Great. You're going to have to throw a grenade. And hopefully not hit the meld. And the only way he can throw this grenade is if he hits the meld, so I'm going to have to have him move. Head into that location. Oh, hang. Oh, that wouldn't have been a good chance for him to hit anyway. I don't think I can hit both of them and not hit the meld. There we go. That's about the closest I'll get to hitting one of hitting one of them or both of them. Nope, there it goes. There's one more alien there, so I don't know why the music stopped. On my way. See if Beck can get a hit off. Fifteen percent, might as well. Nah. That is starting to lose ground. I could use running gun, but that puts my assault in a very vulnerable spot. Scout it out with Lexi here. See if she can't get the kill first. Now I gotta go with my uh, assault before that sectoid kills us. Run and gun. 
So th this will allow me to get the meld and kill the sectoid. Got the goods. Right down. Alright. My guess is the last group or the last couple groups is gonna be in that building. Already there. I'm gonna use him as a sort of scout here. So right we Yep. I wanted him to look into the alleyway. Alright, so they're moving toward the building that we were in before. And that we actually are kind of in now. Moving out. Let's do this in case they decide to uh, take up residence. Headed there now. Back online. Yeah, if they plan on moving inside the building, I'll get a couple of Overwatch shots on them. Which it looks like they did not do. No, they're still in their turn. That's gonna be an easy kill. All I gotta do is turn my assault around that corner and shoot. Affirmative. I'll put both of them on Overwatch. Yeah. The only thing is, I want to get on the roof with this guy. Let's do this. There we go. And now my assault can peep around the corner and blast him in the face. Face blast! And then we'll just go ahead and overwatch both of you in case the sectoid decides to run inside the building. Which I thought he would, but it turns out he would he didn't want to. They're backing up! Advance! Oh please burst inside Oh. We lost the second meld. Well, he can't see him. Right. On my way. He can get into a slightly better spot to ambush this sectoid if Solid he decides copy. to run inside the room. Heading to that location. See, one thing I could do with the sniper is I can drop down behind him and shoot him with the pistol, but that's not going to do great damage. Now what I could do, I don't think that sectoid knows these two guys are in there, so if I hunker down and he fires at me, then that should be fine. That sectoid could fire at him when he's hunkered down, which he did, which was a dumb move by him. Now, I can't ambush him this turn, although I could with Beck. I want to get both of these lovely ladies in position first. Get you in position as well. He can, yeah, he can like literally just drop straight down. Hunker you down again. Hunker you down. Overwatch back in case that sectoid decides to move. There's another group. This'll work. Hello! Really, only 66%? Well, I can change Solid that by going over here and flanking him. This should give Becca a kill. There we go. It's killing time. Let's do this. Alright. From what I saw earlier, the last group is in this building. Should be the last group anyway. This early in the game, I don't think there's going to be that many, many, many aliens. Good move, Luxie. Beck will get wounded, but she'll get a promotion out of this. So. All right. Now that the second meld is gone, I can just take my time. Hey, you hear anything? 
could be on the roof. Or they could be in this part of the building. Well, we'll soon see. Got it covered. Oh my gosh. I hate when the misclick happens. Just wasted my turn. Moving. Let's get on the move. back in there and just overwatch him. Sorry this is gonna take a while. But I'm trying to be careful since I lost that one operative to begin. That was not a good time. Yeah, they're in the other building. Crap! Good copy, moving on target. Rolling out. Which means my sniper is useless right now. You gotta open Understood. two doors Moving just out. to see the enemy. And he's not gonna be able to see them from up there, Understood. so. Out. I really would have loved to get the high ground bonus with my sniper, but. <laughs> yeah, they're in that building. Hey, you hear anything? Roger, tracking. Heading to that location. Will do. Trying to get everyone in position. Rolling. I want everyone to be able to fire, so. Go ahead and hunker you down and just have some Overwatch funds. Alright. They're in here, and I don't think they're gonna move. Really? See, the worst part about this is it's all half cover. There it is. One of them's outside, actually. Now, I'm gonna move him there, and over there. I'm gonna overwatch Beck and overwatch my sniper. So that way, if they want to attack me, they'll either have to flank, or they're gonna have to come over here and shoot. Looks like they're... Alright, that's where he is. I can see the little thing that shows where he is. Boom. Let's see if I can't kill him. Not quite. He's not overwatched. At least I don't see the little icon that says he's overwatched. I'm rolling. He could attack my assault. But it's a risk I'm willing to take. Do you really need to smack the door open to just use your mind on that guy? Really? Alright, trigger some overwatches. McGregor, you just shot your own person. Nice job. Come on. Back missed. Let's go, you Canadian. Damn it, Canadian. If you ever get to the point where you're getting a nickname, I'm nicknaming you Canadian. He can still fire? I thought he moved twice. Oh god! Every time cover gets destroyed, I get freaked out. Moving to position. Okay, well, this was stupid. You know what's not stupid is running gunning so that I destroy this thing's face. And that'll kill this guy. Well, first I'm going to open the door because that's just polite. Alright, so I'm going to try to kill this thing first. Probably not going to happen. Oh, that's a big nope there. Wow. Hold 19%. Go ahead and take that shot. Your critical chance is higher than your chance to hit. Missed the target. Affirmative. Now just remember, if this goes wrong, we're screwed. Okay, it's not gonna go wrong. And that one's dead too. 
Mission accomplished. There we go. It only took me 20 minutes to kill what eight sectoids. Commander to the situation room. Commander. All right. To the so room. Beck is a support class, and uh, Lexi's another sniper. Smoke grenade. Which it's going to be annoying because uh, supports are annoying to get kills for. And another sniper. Urban combat badge. Alright. We got the workshop available. Panic increase across North America and Africa. We will be in touch, Commander. Yep, as you can see, Every holy fuck! Satellite coverage, so we should plan our deployments carefully. Egypt's panic went way up! Ugh. Hey, you can actually see the, uh, the amount of engineers you can get per month and uh, amount of scientists you can get per month. Some places like the Americas will give you uh, some of each. But yeah, that was not a fun time. Alright, we're going to go ahead and do some scanning. Because that's really the only thing we can do right now. Got a couple new soldiers. Got the access lift done. Oh, I should not have skipped that. That was an important cutscene. I'm sorry about that. Xenobiology has been done. Alien containment. We can now do autopsies. We can still do the meld. Alien. Uh, I'm gonna wait to research the arc thrower. I'm gonna go with weapon fragments I'm still first. Having a hard time grasping what it is the aliens are hoping to accomplish here. Are they studying us? Why abduct humans seemingly at random? There must be a pattern that we haven't established yet. Anyway, I could sell corpses, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to keep scanning for activity. Contact detected. All right, we got our first UFO. I can't believe we still we only start with two UFOs. It's ridiculous. Since this is our first UFO, I'm going to show it launching. I'll normally just skip this. I believe this one's scripted, you'll always shoot bed. it down. The first one, at least. Ow. Ow. There we go. Central, this is Voodoo 37. We have a confirmed kill on Bogey 001. I repeat, the UFO is down. I'll copy, over. Solid copy, Voodoo 37. Nice work. Central out. All, All right. People, retask Recon Satellite Bravo and get me a visual on that crash site. She's coming into range now, sir. On screen. Magnify. There we go. Surprisingly intact. One piece. Commander, I recommend we get a strike team to the crash site immediately. I like how it's surprisingly intact, but when we get there, it's going to be all destroyed. Alright, we're going to go ahead and do that later. I'm not sure when it's going to expire, but we're going to do that in the next episode.